just a bit. All right, Tyler, March is International Women's Month. This is the perfect time to celebrate women in business. That's exactly why the Alabama chapter of the National Association of Women Business Owners is hosting a town hall. Joining us now with more is LaCanya Murray. LaCanya, tell us about this association. The NABO, National Association of Women Business Owners, is a national organization. We help diverse businesses. We're diverse in the size of the businesses, the type of the businesses, both service and product businesses, and how we help. Our platform really is about advocacy, making sure that there are laws and policies in place that help support women-owned businesses. And you're hosting a town hall locally. Tell us about the town hall that's coming up. I'm so excited about the town hall. What this is going to do is give the community an opportunity to be introduced to NABO and also get NABO an opportunity to hear the concerns of the women business owners because how can we advocate for them if we don't know where they stand. So during this town hall, what you can expect is to have a rundown on a few laws that are um, just taking place that will affect women business owners. You're going to learn the importance of data and why we need the data in order to advocate for policy change. And most importantly, how to be fundable. How can you be bankable and get the funds and capital you need for your business? What are some of the issues women business owners are facing right now? Right now, one of the main things that we hear is that um, child care, you know, even as business owners, you still need to have someone to take care of your children because most of the times, even when, when you're a business owner or if you're employed, you are still the main person that's responsible for making sure your child is taken care of. We also have issues such as um, what's coming out down the pipeline is this Corporate Transparency Act, making sure that business owners know about that and that they have to register despite some conflicting things that are on the internet and just making sure that they are in position to get the funding that they need. For women who are not a part of the association, can they still come out? Please come. Come on. <laughs> all of you women, please come. It's for all women business owners, whether you're in Montgomery or Alabama, I mean Montgomery or Birmingham, wherever, just come down. It's going to be about an hour and a half and it's going to be an opportunity for you also to have your voice heard. How did you get involved? Tell us a little bit about your background. So I'm an attorney. I help clients throughout the United States um, protect their brands through trademarks, copyrights, and um, contracts. And I had a friend join the organization and said, ma'am, you need to be a part of this. And I think you'll be so good at the advocacy part. And I was like, what? Because I don't go outside much. I don't people much. With this organization, what I love about it is that it's real business owners with real problems, real solutions, and we, it's a community. And we're looking for that community. So she invited me to join, and I did, and I became the advocacy chair. And I just love it. I love the women that I get to associate with and that I get to help. How important are these business owners to our everyday communities, to our economy? Arc. So I just saw data last week that small and micro businesses make up uh, maybe 20 to 30 percent of the economy and that we provide 99 percent of the jobs. In wow. The small business owners. So we are very important. I know it doesn't seem like it. Everyone's always like, oh, you're a little business. But when we are able to hire one to four employees, one to seven, or even you know 20, we are making a difference in the economy. And so we need you to succeed as business owners and come on out and get this later station. Just another reason to continue to support those small and micro businesses in our area. And if someone is a business owner, a boutique owner, they have a candle business, any, anything, a, a, a salon, a your salon. song salon, how can they sign up? How can they register to attend? If you go to our Facebook page, just type in N-A-W-B-O, NABO, Alabama, and you have opportunity to register there. It's a free event. Come on out and join us. Free event. Give us a date, time, and location. That would be good, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be this Wednesday at 11 o'clock to 12.30 at the Lab on Dexter, which is at 150 Dexter Avenue. This Wednesday at the Lab on Dexter, 11 a.m. She said anyone in the state can come out and attend, and the best part is it's free. So come on out, get that important information, and tell your story. Talk to folks who are making change yes. here in our state. Thanks so much for joining us here on Alabama Live. We appreciate it. Thank you for having